Amber Rose shuts down leftist TMZ reporter. She said, we are voting for Trump because we are no longer brainwashed. Wow, I've never thought that I would ever report anything on Amber Rose. I don't really get into the to the celebrity type of type of news, but uh, she's she, she's meeting with Trump and talking about voting for Trump and and uh, talking about leaving that Democratic plantation and finally for no longer being no longer brainwashed. Of, of course, I'm a report on it, so we go talk a little bit about it. We go show the video clip, um, but before we get started, go to hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news. This comes from the Gateway Pundits, uh, Margaret Flavin. And uh, she reports that in a recent encounter with a TMZ reporter, model and actress Amber Rose passionately defended her endorsement of former President Donald Trump stating that she and others are, quote, no longer brainwashed by the left. <clears throat> the Gateway Pundit reported last month that Rose sent leftists into a total meltdown when she pu uh, publicly endorsed Trump in a, pa in a post to her 24 million Instagram followers, alongside a photo of her standing with Trump and Melania, Melania um, at a black tie event, she wrote, uh, Trump 2024. With a U.S. flag and Boji. so here's here's that here's that post here, and yeah, and I'm sure everyone everyone around the interweb heard about this, and again, and, and leftists went nuts. Rose, who is also known for her activism on women's rights issues, and is the wife of rapper uh, Wiz Khalifa, uh, are they are they still married? I, I don't know if that's accurate. I, I I didn't think they were married any longer, but anyway urged her followers to reassess their loyalty to the Democratic Party. She criticized Joe Biden's commitment to black and commu uh, black communities and emphasized her priorities, saying LMAOOO, y'all think uh, Biden cares about black people? Sad. Do your research. I did, she wrote. I'll always put women first. Uh, she further criticized the left stance on reproductive rights and the issue of transgender athletes competing against females in sports. She said, y'all want biological men in, in women's sports. Rose, continue, uh, Rose continued, Trump supports the most reasonable compromise on abortion. Stop being brainwashed because we're people, uh, people of color. Make your own decisions. Recently, Rose was ambushed by a TMZ reporter who questioned her endorsement of Trump. So I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna play the clip here. Let's scroll down here and get to that clip. Put my headphones on. There we go. All right. A lot of people were shocked with your, you know, endorsement of Donald Trump. I mean, you're all about women's rights issues. I mean, what was the reason for the big change? Is Donald Trump not for women's rights issues? I mean, I guess a lot of people were He's asking. He's trying to make America great again. That's for women too, right? <laughs> That's Max. true. I mean, okay. well, I mean, there you go. I know. Does him getting convicted like change the way you nope. view him? Not at all. I mean, do Still you think you'll help his chances like getting like reelected or like you'll? Hurt I think it him? helps him more. I oh, think it, it helps actually him more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think people see the injustice and in what happened, and they want to vote for him more than ever. I know, I wanted to ask you, so it seems like a lot of celebrities are kind of like voting for Trump now. I mean, why do you think people are kind of like changing their way of like... I think we're just, voting? we just did our research and we're just, you know, we're not brainwashed anymore by the left. Um, I can say that about myself. All these years I've been brainwashed and I'm not anymore. That's great. So. I mean, considering how far left Amber Rose used to be, I mean, we all heard the stories about Amber Rose and stuff. To her, to now her being a, a Trump supporter, it's just wild to me. But it shows, it lets me know that she has intelligence, and she went and did her research, like she said, and and found out that everything the the um the um mockingbird propaganda media been been spewing us are lies she found that out on her own and this is what happens when you do your own due diligence when you do your own research when you stop listening to what the mainstream media is telling you and look stuff up for yourself you find out that like 99% of the stuff that they tell you 
is our lies. Like everything that they tell you are lies. And um, when you do just a cursory look at some of the things, if you look at it just from a different perspective and start doing research from that vantage point, your eyes will be open to the lies and you start seeing the truth. And <laughs> when you, when, when, when you, um, you know, like when you put on those, those they live glasses and, and you finally see things for what they are, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful awakening. And I think that's what Eva Rose is going through. And she's, she's not afraid of, of letting the, the, the media and letting her followers know what, um, her change and what's going on with her. And, and she, again, she encouraged people to do their own research instead of the opposite of that. What the leftists tell people is, no, we want to censor. You got to believe in what we believe in. Don't do your own research. So, again, good for her. I'm glad that she she's waking up to this. But um, let me know what you think about the, about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.